Hi everyone, Kid Fandy here, and here's my review of Matilda, directed by Danny DeVito. <laughs> Sorry, Mara Wilson, Danny DeVito, Rhea Perlman, Imbev Davids, Pam Ferris, Paul Rubens, Tracy Walter, Brian Levinson, Jean Spiegel, Howard, Jean Spiegel Howard, Sarah Magdalene, <laughs> R.D. Robb, and Gregory R. Uh, Goliath. Great cast, really is. And this film is about a used car salesman, his dedicated housewife, <laughs> and their son, who has a new <laughs> child in the family named Matilda. And she is different by her love of books. She literally always loved books ever since she was uh, two years old. <laughs> And um, started doing the most remarkable things because, you know, the Wormwoods, they are just focused on the American dream, <laughs> watching TV <laughs> at their TV tables, you know, <laughs> literally just the American ideal family. And <laughs> Matilda, she's always been above that. She's always loved reading, you know, and um, she went to the library at, um, yeah, like when she was four, four, literally, and um, she got a library book that young. And then um, she kept coming home with the wagon full of knowledge. <laughs> and then she got older and older. And she definitely, you know, wanted to go to school. I want to go to school. But at that, you're only five, but she's six and a half. <laughs> yeah, and mom's, you know, focused more on just having, you know, uh, fish fingers on the stove. <laughs> And her brother just, you know, teases her with all the marshmallows, you know. So her family just does her spell. Like, her family is that, you know, you know, uh, just focus on getting through the day. You know, this is what they need for life. <laughs> family. Yeah, and the dad, he sells, man, all <laughs> of the used cars with all the ounces of super glue. <laughs> Can you believe it? And Matilda knows that that's a fraud. Can't do that. Are you getting smart with me? She's getting technical. <laughs> yeah, so finally, you know, um, the dad is fed up with this. Yo, know, speaking of the super glue, Matilda super glues his hat. I don't want to say too much. Onto his cranium. <laughs> and it's not because the fibers. Like, you think the fibers in the hair shrunk. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so um, one day... This mean and <laughs> very official in stature and in, uh, and in, you know, uh, credentials. Principal of a school comes to the car dealership. Her name is Trunchbull. And she despises children. And her dad, of course, wants Matilda to go there. <laughs> and so now she goes to school. And um, she makes some really good friends. This young named Lavender. This uh, tall girl who has all the scoops on Trunch Baldilio, you know? <laughs> and literally, this girl has beautiful pigtails. Comes to school there, right? And Trunch Bowl doesn't like pigs, so she doesn't like her. So she acts like this girl is a shot put. <laughs> literally, they're all the way around, like a javelin. They're all the way around. <laughs> and then she's safe. She falls into a flower bed outside of the school. And everyone cheers her freedom. <laughs> Finally, and uh, can't wait for all the rest of the faculty freedom. Speaking of faculty, there's a really sweet teacher named Miss Honey who becomes uh, Matilda's best friend. And Matilda, uh, I haven't really mentioned that, she's super smart. Since she's read Moby Dick, which is perfectly fine of a title, <laughs> even though what her dad said, <laughs> and mathematic books, since they're doing you know, two timetables. And then Miss Lemon, uh, Miss Honey, I'm sorry, Miss Honey is joking about, you know, multiplying like 30 by like a thousand. And uh, Matilda, she got it. It was like 30 by like a, like 45 or something. Thousand, like 45. And Matilda got it. Like, this is extraordinary. So, of course, she cherishes Matilda's, all the children. She loves them. The complete opposite of who's, you know, even more in charge of them. <laughs> The principal and Matilda's parents. Because she's the sweetest. And they have the power. <laughs> Not for long. So, um, so she comes to Matilda's house. And her parents, how great she is. And her parents are like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and um, the FBI come. Since 
All the used cars are not up to code. He literally shows his son. Oh, um, Mr. shows his son to how to, you know, roll back the speedometer. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, and these um officers, you know, who are not you. His wife thinks that used car salesman. <laughs> They're not used car salesman's doll. Your car salesman doll. So <laughs> they get, <laughs> they get figured out by Matilda first, and um, Matilda. No, there's so much. Matilda finds out <laughs> that Miss Honey has a plus connection to Trunchbull. <gasps> what? Besides working together for years, you know, um, her father actually had a very close relationship. I don't get it with Miss Trunchbull, and um, Miss Trunchbull is actually Miss Honey's aunt. So I'm gonna say, and uh, she got some things from Miss Honey's that Miss Trunchbull did. Honey's that they want to get back, so they sneak into Trunchbull's house. Goes back from her awesome workout, but she's in this sweatshirt from 72. She <laughs> like, no, who's in my house? Like she's just so over the top. It's amazing. And um, they get everything. And Matilda gets payback with her powers. And Matilda first finds really uses her powers after she harnesses them from her dad, yelling at her. And goes, she really just has to concentrate what she wants to do. And she was able to move around everything while being a little, a little baby, baby a little pretty baby one. <laughs> oh yeah, so all that happened while she was being a little, a little pretty baby one, pretty baby one. Oh yeah, so that happened. <laughs> and finally, after Trunchbull finds out that someone's, because Matilda's, you know, red ribbon, <gasps> gets stuck in her car, uh, um, yeah, lock. You know, um, Matilda is, you know, um, put in front of the yard with her powers and moves Trunchbull. <laughs> Gets rid of Trunchbull and get away. And long story short, no more Trunchbull. <laughs> yeah, Miss uh, Honey is now in charge of the school. Now, she's the principal. And since she loves Matilda, understands her more, she becomes Matilda's new mom. She, you know, becomes her family. Because the warm woods, they never understood Matilda. They tried their best. But man, literally just gave her frozen fish fingers. And yes, her mom calls them fish fingers. It was just perfectly fine. But I never heard anyone say it. <laughs> like, you don't really hear people say it. I have heard people say it. We don't. Yeah. So she calls them fish fingers. And they want the stuff. <laughs> yeah, and they never understood her. So it's fine because Matilda, she actually gets a loving home. So now she's with Miss Honey as her daughter. And she's able to learn. And, be in a, and both of them because yeah, Miss Honey, she had Miss Trunchbull. As a parental figure. Yikes! Who hates children? So they finally had a beautiful, loving home. You know, and they could cherish everything. And this is a beautiful movie. It's a beautiful take on the world doll story. You know, I love how, you know, um, this one specifically, you know, literally takes all of the nonsense. <laughs> and everything that, you know, was trying to force upon Matilda. You know, um, yeah, Matilda. And just you know, pushes the power that Matilda has herself, her willpower, to the form of get, you know, get out of the commercialism of this, literally this game show that they watch with John Lovitz, who is amazing. <laughs> literally gets sticky with Mickey, like literally gets sticky and stuff. Bro, this man, his shower, just this contestant that was nervous though. So from all that nonsense television, the, <laughs> having the two police officers investigate him, it really just shows how important it is to love you know, what you love, which is reading in Matilda's case. And knowing what's right for you. Amazing. I know, right? You would not imagine that from a kid's movie. <laughs> like, what is your... Because her family, they did not love... Like, they did not love her, who she was. I won't say they don't love her. They didn't love who she was, you know? Because they did not want her to read. They wanted her to just sit in front of the TV set. Which explodes, actually. <laughs> that was not the family for Matilda. So she finally got the family... And it really just shows how people, you know, um, just in general, who don't like children, you know, um, need to see, well, like, is that what children can do? Because you know, the future, hello, you know, children are amazing. And I know it takes patience, believe me, and everything. Else. You know, children are amazing, you know. So it's awesome to see, like, how these parents get their comeuppance for not realizing that, you know. And I understand, you know, but, you know, but for treating the kids cruel. So, you know, I understand people who don't, you know, you know, I understand, you know, but like treating the kids cruel, though, 
This is what they get for treating them cruel. I'm not saying that everyone who doesn't like children, but like, this is what you get for treating kids cruel. You know, like, it's a beautiful story. Yeah, it, yeah, this definitely a wonderful, and wonderful. I would have liked to have seen more of the, you know, unpredictability before Matilda controlled the powers, and then she controlled them. And I know there's a lot. Awesome movie. <laughs> there's so much. It's, yeah, I love it. It's amazing. And I would have liked to see more of how everyone, you know, uh, overcomes, you know, how family overcomes Matilda, not like how they overcome each other, the, 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 the complete opposite, how Trunchbull overrides, everyone doesn't, you know, want her height, doesn't want her power, <laughs> you know, and, uh, how Matilda and the other kids, you know, are able to have a fun time at school, like, literally, they're, they're kids, like, second grade stuff, have fun, so it's cool how, like, they overcome all that. Yeah, so it's a beautiful movie. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I said. Yeah, it is. Uh, much so wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. You know, when all new videos come out. And these videos, last infinity.